Good afternoon, traders. Jacques Caruso coming to you here for the afternoon of September 27th with your currency outlook for the day. Uh, first, we'll start with the uh, consumer confidence number we did see come out this morning. Kind of a blowout number, 104.1 uh, versus an expected 98 spot 8. Uh, so right now you've got the stock market feeding off of uh, some of that momentum as well as the U.S. dollar index. The U.S. dollar index is up about 20 points. However, we have faded off the highs right now. Uh, presently trading at 95.41. I do have some very strong resistance coming in up around 96 in the U.S. dollar. If we can get there over the next couple of days, really it's all going to depend on uh, the direction of uh, the economic news moving forward. Uh, all in all, the dollar has been in a very, very choppy trade, choppy to sideways trade. Um, you've got uh, immediate term upside, like I said, resistance about 96, downside to 94.50 perhaps. Uh, the market's going to be looking for uh, for some guidance from the durable goods number tomorrow, as well as uh, we do have a number of Fed governors speaking tomorrow as well. So uh, looking uh, inversely uh, to the U.S. dollar trade, the euro, uh, same thing, very choppy sideways. Actually, euro's been chopping sideways to higher. Uh, we did encounter some very strong resistance just above 113. I believe it was about 113.20 was a very strong resistance area. Uh, the market's kicking lower this morning. There is obviously some troubles, I'm sure, if you've been following the news. Uh, with German Bank, Deutsche Bank. Um, so perhaps that's kind of feeding into the weak euro here this morning. Uh, that's off by about 40. Again, that's about 25, 30 points off of the, uh, the morning low. So we, we do see that market trying to fight back a little bit. Uh, last trade, 112.56. Uh, so the remaining, uh, uh, the range for the, the euro, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that 113.20 as the top side of the range, and then uh, immediate term downside perhaps to 112. So fairly tight range. Uh, looking at the British pound, the British pound is holding some longer term support down here. Uh, I, ca I call it the Brexit support. Uh, we did bounce off of 129.50 over the last couple of sessions. Uh, we are trading 130.37 at the moment. Uh, we could see some upside momentum throughout the re week that carries us up towards 130.140 before we encounter any uh, real resistance on the British pound. Um, switching over to the Japanese yen, uh, that market is one of the, actually the, the few currency markets that's actually trending at the moment. That market's been trending higher for the better part of the year. Uh, that market basically continues to win by default. You've got this global currency war that's going on uh, between the United States uh, and Europe. Uh, and right now the, uh, the yen continues to uh, uh, reap the benefits higher. Um, we are holding flat for the day, 99.95. However, we do see some very strong resistance uh, on the yen coming in at 130. So keep that uh, target in mind. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, 800-669-5354. Uh, Thanks a lot.